All right. We're going to solve a linear equation with several occurrences of the variable. These variables are located on both sides and they have fractional coefficients. So the equation that we have here is negative y plus four thirds equals negative one third y minus one fifth. Now it seems to be universal that everyone has uh, a fear of fractions um, but they don't have to be so bad. What we're going to do actually is eliminate all the denominators which will make the equation a little bit easier to work with, simpler to work with. So notice that our denominators that we have are 3, 3, and 5. And the denominator here on the negative y is a 1 because we don't see a number actually under the whole number. We can always write a whole number with a denominator of 1. So what we want to do is actually get the least common multiple of the denominators. So the least common the multiple, multiple of the denominators, 3 and 5, would actually be 15. We're going to take this 15 and multiply the entire equation by that 15. Now, in order to do that, the 15 is going to be distributed to the negative y. It's going to be distributed to the positive 4 over 3, going to be distributed to the negative one third y, and it is going to be distributed to the negative one fifth. So let's go ahead and start doing that. 15 times negative y plus 15 times four thirds equals 15 times negative one third y plus 15 times negative one-fifth. Okay, so let's go ahead and multiply these out. 15 times negative y becomes negative 15y. And what I like to do is cross out things that I do them so I don't forget. 15 times 4 over 3, I'm going to rewrite the 15 as a fraction. So remember that we can write a whole number as a fraction by putting it over 1. And then there's a couple of options here. We can multiply straight across. We can cross simplify here. Um, with the 15 and the 3, the biggest number that goes into both of those numbers is 3. So let's divide both by 3. 3 divided by 3 gets us 1. 15 divided by 3 gets us 5. And 5 times 4 will get us a positive 20. Going to do the same thing here, 15 over 1, and cancel once again the same way we did. That becomes a 1, that becomes a 5. And what we're going to be left with is negative 5y. And over here, you should recognize that 15 and 1 fifth we can do the same thing actually, so let's cross simplify. And the biggest number that goes into 15 and 5 is 5. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 3 times negative 1 gets us a negative 3. And, and now the equation looks a lot simpler to work with. All we are left with is variables and numbers on each side of the equation. There's no fractions left. So what we're going to do is actually move all the variables to one side of the equation. We're going to pick the left, move all the numbers to the other side of the equation, and that would be the right. In order to do that, what we're going to do is add 5y to both sides of the equation and subtract 20 from both sides of the equation. On the left, the positive 20 and the negative 20 become 0. Negative 15y and positive 5y become negative 10y. On the right side of the equation, the 5y's become 0. Negative 3 and negative 20 is negative 23. And in order to get y by itself, we're going to divide both sides by negative 10. The negative tens, they divide out to become 1, which we're left with 1y, and negative 
23 divided by negative 10 is a positive 23 over 10, so 23 over 10 is your solution.